بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules in this session we will study these three words of Al Qaeda Nuraniya on page number 13 and this slide is just a reminder for transliteration purposes so we are revisiting some of the principles that we have studied before so the first one is um, we need to know the knowledge we need to have the artic uh, knowledge of articulation points for each um, letter the second one is we need to know the characteristics of each letter a sifat of each letter uh, we have studied only a few of them so far but we will study the rest in advanced level the third one is um, the knowledge of rules uh, rule or rules attached to individual letter because of its position in a word or words uh, the fourth one is um, exercising the tongue and a lot of repetition. So if we are given, for example, we are given a word and we have to apply these steps to make our uh, reading or recitation easy. So the first one is recognizing individual letter. So if we go to here, so individual, the first one is Arif, second one is Hamza, third one is Ba, and next one is Dal and the final one is alif so we recognized individual letters step one in step two we recognize the harakat that are used so the harakat would be or the signs would be here that's fatha fatha fathatain so we recognize the harakat and the next one is we have to recognize uh, if uh, the letter letters uh, which letters are silent and which aren't uh, let's change the color okay let's see so if you see here alif this is um, silent and uh, this one is not uh, ba is not silent dal is not silent and um, alif is silent so alif is silent hamza is not silent ba is not silent dal is not silent and alif is silent so we recognize those ones and the next one is we apply the rules um, that attach to individual letter we will study that in advanced level uh, apply the correct sifat so we have studied only a few of them one of them would be um, if the letter is heavy or light so we apply that, those rules and the rest we will study in advanced level uh, the next one is pronouncing each letter from its correct makhraj articulation point uh, and the other one would we can add is um, we count how many syllables are there uh, for example here is a uh, one ba two then so there are three syllables in this word so if we uh, manage to uh, implement these steps correctly uh, then our recit our reading and recitation will be uh, very easy these are not fixed rules uh, you can add or subtract to it uh, these are just general guidelines uh, for um, recitation or reading the arabic so the first word we have is kasaba and kasaba it has three uh, syllables so the first syllable is kaf fatha ka kaf is not silent and we have fatha on it kaf fatha ka kaf fatha ka the second syllable we have is sin fatha sa Sin is not silent and it has fatha. Sin fatha sa. Sin fatha sa. So now we combine these two syllables and we have kasa, 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 kasa. The third syllable we have is ba fatha ba. Ba is not silent and it has fatha on it. Ba fatha ba. Ba fatha ba. And then we combine these three syllables and we have. Kasaba, 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 Kasaba. The next word we have is Kafara. Kafara has three syllables, and the first syllable is Kafathaka. Kaf is not silent and it has Fatha. Kafathaka, Kafathaka. The second syllable is Fafathafa. Fa is not Fa is not silent and it has Fatha on it. Fa fatha fa, fa fatha fa, and now we combine these two syllables and we have kafa, 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 kafa. The next syllable we have is ra fatha ra. Ra is not silent and it has fatha on it. Ra fatha ra, ra fatha ra. 
So now we combine these three syllables and we have kafara, 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 kafara. So the next word we have is kufuwan and it has three syllables. So the first syllable is kaf the maku and kaf is not silent and uh, it has dhamma on it. Kaf dhammaku, kaf dhammaku. The second syllable is fa dhammafu, fa is not silent and uh, it has dhamma on it. Fa dhammafu, fa dhammafu. And then we combine these two syllables and we have kufu, 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 kufu. The third syllable is waw fathatain one, but if you notice here, it's waw fathatain and alif is silent here. So it's silent, we ignore it here, we don't write it here. It's only waw fathatain one. Waw is not silent and it has fathatain and alif is silent. Waw fathatain one. Wow, fathatain one. So now we combine these these three syllables and we have kufu wen, kufu wen, kufu wen, kufu wen. So the next three slides uh, will be sounds only with our spellings. Kasaba, 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 kafara. Kafara, kafara, kafara. Kufuwan, 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 kufuwan. So this is the end of this session. In next session, we will practice these three words ten times without explanation, just to give you in a practice. Inshallah, we will see you in next session. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.